disease called African swine fever has been spreading out in China, Vietnam, Mongolia, Cambodia, and even in North Korea, leaving South Koreans worried that it might spread in Korea too. Since there are no current available medicines or vaccines to cure this disease, the best we could do is to prevent it from spreading. With this, from June 1, the Animal and Plant Quarantine Agency has reinforced that those who fail to declare hand-carry animal products will have to pay fines up to 10 million won. Individuals coming from countries suffering from African swine flu who fail to declare hand-carry products such as pork will have to pay fines depending on the number of violations. Foreigners who refuse to pay the fine will not be allowed to enter the country or will be restricted to stay in Korea. Also, remember that meat products like ham, sausage, beef jerky, and so on are restricted items when entering Korea. In case you are carrying such products, don't forget to declare those using the customs declaration form and submit it to the quarantine officers at the airport or ports. Lastly, those who work at agriculture and livestock industries are requested to refrain from visiting farm or livestock market within five days after traveling overseas. You are a quarantine officer who makes Korea clean. The 2019 Korea National Migrant Workers Rally was held in Gwanghamun, Seoul on the 20th of October. A large number of migrant workers and migrant organizations participated from all over the country. The migrant workers who participated in the rally exposed the discrimination they face at their workplaces and complained about the unimproving work environment over the years. They raised their voices together asking for the guaranteeing of equal wages to the same labor, abolition of the reduction of wages due to the minimum wage, and discarding the forced collection of food and housing expenses. In addition, they also demanded 12 other things, including freedom to change workplace, abolition of the employment permit system, and the grant of a work permit. This year's rally of migrant workers was the largest rally held following last year's. Even if the year and the regime changes, the demands of migrant workers remain the same. It is now time for the Korean government to respond to their requests. At MNTV, we receive video clips about accident and incident, as well as news report related to immigrants. If you would like to report, please call us or contact us via email.